Time to play with some clay. Well, hello. Uh, this is a, a review of this particular instructional video that I've posted here. Uh, I hope you'll enjoy it. It's a short review of uh, the video uh, that what's on the video that's located at Vimo. At the end of this video, I will show you how to purchase a video. Our return is the uh, 24 inch tall. I'm going to sculpt figure. the female figure first uh, without clothes. I'm going to get the under body first before I start putting the clothes on. This uh, video covers about uh, six months of sculpting on this piece from start to finish to the uh, bronze. Uh, here I am starting the uh, head and that clay head in the background is uh, a clay that I'd done, had done years ago of Sacagawea and I just wanted to uh, use it as a model for her face. Uh, here I show you how to uh, put the head back on the body and then I start uh, positioning the uh, the figure. And this whole idea for this piece came from one pose that I took of a uh, young uh, lady who lives over in Virginia City, uh, a daughter of a friend of mine. And um, I show you how to put the clay on, how to build the under uh, surface that goes below the clay or the uh, dress. Uh, here I'm showing how to make a uh, fringe. And I try to show you how to do all these things so it doesn't cost you an arm and a leg when you cast it. It's still going to cost you a lot because bronze casting is inherently very expensive. But I'm taking my 38, going on 39 years of sculpting uh, and trying to pass it on to you through these videos. Um, here I am uh, just starting to add uh, clay so that I can put hanging fringe off her sleeve. Uh, you got to have stuff underneath the fringe and here I'm working on the face trying to personalize it a little bit and the, the face is pretty much coming out of my head but I'm also using photographs of uh, young Indian ladies to uh, do the face and uh, braiding hair doing the hair and then I uh, end up in a gallery in Tahoe uh, at the end of creating of this piece uh, last uh, summer and uh, I finished up the clay at the, at the uh, gallery, actually. Uh, here I'm laying down the bead uh, uh, p uh, thing that's going to go on there, and then I'm putting in the pattern of the Cheyenne uh, beadwork, which is rather complicated. And I'm also working on the face and finishing up things, like adding uh, an earring here and an earring on the other side. And then at, uh, I show you the original bronze. Uh, this is the actual color of bronze once it's cast and sandblasted. It's actually a white metal that uh, you can polish up, make it look like brass. And then here the uh, guy at the foundry was putting on the patina, which is done with acid and, and heat. And this is the final bronze. Well, here's the segment there where I tell you how to purchase your in streaming video off of Vimo. This is just a temporary page right now because I haven't created the nine reviews of my current instructional videos uh, yet. And that's so, so this is just a temporary page just to show you an example of what you're going to see when you come to this page. There's a link below my daily YouTube videos that will take you to this page. And here you will see uh, a three, all nine videos, but I don't have them on here right now because uh, I haven't edited them yet <laughs> or created them yet. But uh, there'll be nine videos uh, on this page, right in this area here, and uh, you'll be able to scroll down the page and, and, and review them all. Um, up here to the right, is a drop-down menu and will be listed all my videos I just clicked a little arrow down arrow up here and it will be listed all my instructional videos here 
and uh, it will you click on the one you want to purchase let's see if I can do this uh, see I want to purchase that one add to cart and it's, it's all through PayPal and I've got two videos that I've got listed here already on my uh, PayPal pre-order and uh, up here in the upper right there is a continue shopping and I can drop down the menu and click on another video add to cart and automatically you got the uh, third choice. I've already made two choices and now I got a third choice. And then once you get that done, you click on the PayPal uh, button to continue uh, to the uh, checkout. That's how you purchase my videos. As soon as, I, as soon as I receive notification from PayPal that you've uh, purchased a video, I put together a uh, email to you with the link or the, with the title of the uh, video as well as the link to the Vimo video copy of it and the password. Now, I also uh, inform you up here, keep this email I send you t or print it out so you'll always have the link and the password for the video you purchased. You can watch it on Vimo as often as you want, as long as you have this. Thank you so much for your purchase. Of course, if you lose the email, you can always contact me and I can replace it. But it, uh, the, the receipt for your purchase is here and um, the link to the video, like I just told you, is right there. And um, it's very easy. You just click on that link and then it'll ask you for the password before you can start watching the video. And it's just so simple. And as soon as I get to, or I can, I see the, that you purchased something, uh, I get the video out to you and you have it within seconds. It is so much easier than the old way that I did it by DVD, which I can't do anymore. All right. That's how you purchase and how you receive your instructional videos or video. Well, that's it. And I hope this has been helpful to you in making your decision. But wait, I have a great deal for you. And it's listed in the uh, list of videos that you can order. The deal is, if you order all nine, you get three unlisted videos that are great videos. I just don't have room on PayPal to list them, so I have to keep them in reserve. But if you order all nine of my videos at one time, you get three extra videos that are unlisted. Great videos. And uh, I think you'd really enjoy them. And they're free. The three, not the nine. <laughs> All right, that's uh, going to be it. Uh, I'm glad you watched uh, this video, and I hope you found it interesting. Good day, everybody.